Our next speaker is Saul Viegas, fourth time SIP mentor, extraordinaire. He's going to talk about his experience with SIP. Hello, everyone, and thank you for the SIP team uh, for just inviting me again to um, share some of my thoughts. I didn't have anything written down. I had 16 students this <laughs> summer. Um, and a couple of mentors that I was uh, overseeing just to um, participate in this new um, mentor advisor um, job position that opened up. But I just wanted to explain a little bit about um, who I am and how did I start with SIP. Uh, I want to thank also faculty uh, Dr. Jennifer Parker at Open Lab Collaborative Research Center, who I've worked with since uh, I was an undergrad and which was back in 2019, and I kept working with her in a lot of art and science related projects. Um, and so it was really nice to have started SIP in the first year in its inaugural uh, art or ACS, uh, incorpor incorporating um, an art component into the program. And so my background, um, I recently graduated uh, in the digital arts and new media program with my master's, and my background has been in traditional art practices and really bridging those art practices into the digital uh, space. And so uh, what I thought was uh, most impactful for me starting this program was really teaching students to take agency in what they are learning about and teaching them how to create their own archives and be able to incorporate uh, their oral histories, their, their own visual uh, interpretations. Um, so that the documentation itself or the archives that they are um, looking at, that it's not this cycle of regurgitation of information, but also some sort of incorporation uh, with their experience. And maybe um, more importantly, experiences that are sometimes very hard to archive. And so my background um, into this project uh, for the past three years and the way that it's impacted me is really um, a personal sort of um, journey in learning how to teach. Uh, recently, uh, I started teaching for the second year Photoshop class. And so it was really nice to use uh, this opportunity with SIP to see the way that I was teaching, um, see how students were really reacting with the information and really how to start with a blank document and then really merge and transfer those ideas out um, for the world to sort of understand what they're talking about. And so really this sort of arch of creativity um, resonates with me personally. And so I just hope that the SIP interns throughout the years have learned um, invaluable sort of lessons in ways that you can capture your environment, your stories, um, and then just learn from that. And so my idea of archiving the project has just been um, creating a multimedia sort of uh, archive for SIP. And yeah, I just wanted to mention that final thought is that in the way that it's impacted me and that I hope that it continues to impact uh, students and mentors in the future is really just um, having this as a huge conversation. SIP, I feel, is an amazing um, program that each year since I've been a part of has um, had this progression and always has these new innovative, innovative ways to incorporate new strategies on how to approach um, better understanding, better learning for students. So my approach and my advice for everyone is just learn how to best create those archives so that um, new interns, new mentors, new people can continue this conversation. Thank you so much.